the Defense Ministry has reportedly given the final clearance for the much-awaited M777 howitzer guns deal. The deal for the purchase of 145 U.S. ultralight howitzers from BAE Systems will cost around RS 5,000 crore subject to clearance from the Finance Ministry and Cabinet Committee on Security CCS. That the deal is the first for guns after the Bofors only adds weight to how important such an acquisition will be for the Indian Army, which is struggling with insufficient artillery. The M777 howitzer is a 155mm 39 caliber towed gun. According to BAE Systems, the manufacturer of the gun, the M777 is a highly portable gun in the defense arsenal of any country. The gun is portable by land, sea and air. This means that the system can be easily moved and redeployed as per the defense force's need. The gun has a maximum unassisted range of 24.7 km and an assisted range of 30 plus km. BAE claims that the gun can be used to fire 5 rounds per minute for up to 2 minutes. It can easily be lifted by helicopters like the Chinook, which India has already ordered from Boeing. According to a PTI report, 25 guns will come to India in a flyaway condition from BAE. The rest 120 will be assembled in India at the proposed assembly integration and test facility for the weapon system. For this, BAE is tying up with the Mahindra Group. Talking about the edge that India will get, especially with respect to China, Colonel K. V. Kuber, independent consultant defense and aerospace says, the Indian Army needs modern artillery and the M777 is comparable to the Bofors in terms of performance. It is lightweight, in fact it weighs half of the Bofors. The M777 will help greatly in surgical strikes and interdiction operations. These types of guns are meant for the mountains because they can clear heights easily. They will act as a formidable threat against China in terms of on-ground mischief. The guns make use of advanced aerospace metallurgy. The C-17 can take up to three M777S and the C-130J can fit in two of these guns. They can also be airlifted with the help of the Chinooks that India is set to get. In that sense, the guns will fit well in the overall scheme of things as well, he explains, adding that the M777 has already been tested and seen in action in Iraq and Afghanistan. They, M777, are also used by the US, Canada and Australia. BAE is expected to create a decent ecosystem for the Indian industry in terms of tie-ups, he adds. According to Cuber, while the M777 will certainly be a much-needed boost for the Indian Army, there is more that needs to be done to fill the void. Going ahead, to fill the void completely, the government should look at inducting indigenous guns like the Danish and those being developed by the private sector companies like L&M. T. Barge Forge, he advises. India has in the last few months expedited several key defense acquisitions and deals including Rafale, S-400 Triumph missiles, Karmov helicopters, stealth frigates and improved Brahmos missile system. All this assumes major significance in light of India's growing tensions with Pakistan and China. While the final Defense Ministry approval for the M777 shows the government's intent to enhance India's defense capabilities, much more needs to be done to add formidable firepower, especially when it comes to the Indian Army. Thanks for watching, and don't forget subscribe to my channel.